This week I want to work on the move and the rotate tool. So let's just delete this young lady. Just for illustration, let's just do a little box. It's the easiest thing. So a little box, push pull it. I'll zoom in a little bit. I'm going to select the whole thing, right click, make a group. That way it all moves together when I want to move it. For example, if I grab the move tool and I just grab a corner, I can move it as a group. The move tool is pretty handy. The best way to match things up is typically by moving from a corner, uh, midpoint, another corner. It's hard to match up if you're moving from the center. I mean, you can give it a try, but if you're trying to match other objects by grabbing it in the center and then connecting it, it's a little hard to do because you don't know what the center point is. So always grab by an end point or a midpoint or a point that you know. And you can do a lot of different things. You can build a guide across, and then you can move from the center of the box. Well, I didn't have it selected, so escape. Select the box, hit the move tool, and I can move the box from the center of that surface. So you can give yourself some guides. So let's get rid of the guides. Get back to the rotate tool. The rotate tool tries to follow or be perpendicular to an axis. So right now it's perpendicular to the blue. Rotate this way, perpendicular to the green. Rotate this way perpendicular to the red. And if you hold the shift key down, it'll lock that direction. So even if I, let's say I hold the red and I rotate a little bit, it just keeps the red. As soon as I let go, it's going to try and go somewhere else. But that's how you lock the rotate key. All right, let's rotate something. I want to rotate around the blue axis. So I'll hold the shift key down so I have the blue selected. That's what I want. I have my object selected. You can see the blue highlight. I'll pick a corner. This is where I want to rotate it around. One click with the left mouse button, let go of the shift key. One click your starting point and then you just rotate and you click when you're finished. If you want to go exact, you just type in, don't do anything, just type in 45 or whatever degree you want and it'll rotate. If you haven't touched any other tools, you could type something in like 58, enter, 12 degrees, enter. You can keep going until you hit another tool and then it'll be locked at that angle. So let's say I lock it at 24 degrees. That's what it says in the right corner. Now let's say I want to rotate it again. Here's the one difference. Blue, red, but now I've rotated this you'll see black and now that's going to rotate this surface. It's trying to match those surfaces. Blue is still blue, but you get black. And now I could rotate, so I'll select this box and rotate. I'll hold the shift key down, click once, let go of the shift key, click once with your left mouse button, and I can rotate now. And I'm rotating it again around this surface. If I wanted to rotate around this surface, I'd do the same thing. I just go over, hit the shift key, go to the spot I want to rotate from, hit the left mouse button key, let go of the shift key, and then wherever you want to start. If I wanted to start here and then start rotating, you can see what I can do there. So that's really handy because if you don't know this angle, I didn't know it was 24 degrees, it's pretty handy to just use the black visualization of the rotate tool. All right, one last thing you can do with this rotation tool. If you hold the shift key down, I want to shift, hold this face. I'm going to go to the midpoint. I'm going to hit and hold down the left mouse button. Let go of the shift key and then drag out slowly to this corner and then let go of the mouse, left mouse key. And what I've done is now it's going to rotate 90 degrees to this surface. So I click once here and I get to rotate around that rotation angle. And that's pretty handy too because now let's say I don't know this angle. I'll pick any angle. I don't know this angle over here. I can hold the shift key down, go to the corner, 
go to the midpoint or wherever point you want, hold the left mouse key down, let go of the shift key, drag it to a corner, let go of the mouse key, and now you can see I can just drag out starting point and I can rotate around that face. So that's kind of handy to know how to do that. All right, so I've posted a navigation challenge file, and in the next video you can uh, see how I did with it. Just remember this one little trick, the most important trick. If you go on a face like this and you hold the shift key down, it locks it. If you go to the midpoint, or any point, let's go to this point right here, hold the left mouse key down, let go of the shift key, and then just drag it to a corner and it changes it. You can see I can change it to just about any direction I want. And right now I'm making it perpendicular. I could actually make it just about any angle I want. And that's a little more sophisticated, but right now we just want to do perpendicular rotation. Let go of the mouse key. Pick where you want to start from and start rotating it around. All right, in the next video, you'll see me use it a little bit more. Try the navigation challenge and see how fast you can do it.